Good evening guys, good evening once again. Welcome to South Africa Lately, a channel where we discuss South African trending news. We do have a grab here and there from international news when it is trending enough to be brought here. Now, Home Office has warned South Africans that about 700,000 IDs may be cancelled. Do check if your ID has not been duplicated and check its validity and verify if where your ID number has been so that you get your life back to yourself. And this is because it is done because there has been a lot of corruption happening at the Home Affairs done by South African corrupt officials assisting the illegal immigrants to duplicate South African IDs. Do you understand? So the minister says research suggests that SA Green ID book is the most defrauded in Africa with identity theft costing our country more than 1.5 billion per year. If you want to fight fraud and corruption while protecting your family, switch to a smart ID card before criminals steal your life. That is a serious warning. Also, the certain news outlets are carrying the same story. I don't know why I'm still holding on to my green to my green book. So I'm one of the people that are still holding on to their green book. I am definitely changing that. I don't want to be busy knocking at home affairs with tears saying my ID story, story, story. No. So what you see on your screen right now is one of the things that are happening due to the corruption at home affairs. We have people that are bringing no skills except this type of skills that you see. Uh, if you remember very well, to those who don't know as well, about three weeks ago here in South Africa, there was a drug bust of about 300 million rand worth of drugs and also a kidnapping that happened on the same day, I think. I think it's on the same day, but whatever happened, it is in together. It goes together with this drug bust worth about 300 million rand. So the drug bust drugs were found in, in a house in four ways and also in a hotel in Bruma and the businessman's 63-year-old businessman that was kidnapped is from Rodibor. So it is said, sorry, it is said that the one that is a leader in this whole thing of the let me just read this article. A Zambian national alleged to be mastermind behind a string of business kidnappings and a multi-million rand drug syndicate was named at as he arrived in South Africa at OR Tambo International Airport on Sunday. Do you understand what I'm saying? His people that he does this uh, kidnapping and drug dealing with were arrested in South Africa. So he just came from wherever he was coming from, knowing very well that the people that he's working with were arrested. He came in strolling, <laughs> you know, strolling because he knows in South Africa the law is not is not doing what it's supposed to do. Fortunately enough, we have the GNU where we seem to feel like this plane is, is under control. This flight has got all the elements that is supposed to have. We have the pilot, we have the flight attendants, we have your flight engineers on the, you know, things are happening. Like this flight is flighting, if you know what I'm saying. So that is how he got, he got arrested. And I do believe that before the GNU, this guy wouldn't be arrested. Honestly, truly speaking, let's, t let's tell the truth and shame the devil, <laughs> you know. And he just came in strolling, you know, coming back to continue with his business, maybe try and find ways to take his buddies out of jail. So these are the things that came through the Home Affairs and then to our corrupt officials and then to our corrupt law enforcement officials. No, it became a mess. So we really appreciate those who are doing our country right right now, who are trying to put the country right back in order. We did. We could feel prior to the GNU that something was seriously wrong with our country. But you know, us people from the grassroots level, nobody listens to us. Eh? <laughs> no one really listened to us. And you know, I'm very happy that the South Africans, when it was time for us to make our voice heard, because there is no better time than voting. We made sure that our voices are heard, which ended up where we are now, you know. And also the second thing that we had is the Libyans. You know, Home Affairs, hey, Home Affairs, the corruption there was bad, man. 
home affairs we had students that came in from libya they came to study in south africa right and then they ended up having a military camp in pumal in pumalang so no one was checking no official from oh, i don't know how these things work but i do believe that an official from home affairs now and then should monitor if those people are at school what are they studying how are they progressing you know not as having to have a military camp in Pumalang that no government official knew about, no government department knew about, that was created by the people that came to South Africa to study. So those people were deported back yesterday, back to Libya, and the expenses came away, away, they, through the expenses of the government of Libya. No South African money deported those people back to Libya. and. The government of Libya promised the South African government that those individuals involved would be punished accordingly. So we don't know. We take things as we are given. So for me, I still feel like there is a deeper thing that was going on. And somehow maybe our government knew. I don't know. I'm just speculating. How can something like that happen without anyone in our country knowing? Anyone. Anyone at all, at all, at all, at all then we didn't have a country. So anyway, we thank the GNU for the changes that we are seeing. So hopefully more and more will happen. Do have a lovely evening and thank you for watching my videos. Home Affairs is concluding its role in the deportation of 95 Libyans arrested in Mpumalanga last month. They are scheduled to leave South Africa from the Kruger Mpumalanga International Airport this morning in a flight that has been paid for by the Libyan government. I wish to commend the Home Affairs officials and other law enforcement officers who work tirelessly to ensure an expeditious processing and deportation. We will continue to deploy all resources at our disposal to ensure that South Africa's immigration laws are respected and observed at all times.